Brad, thank you so much. We want to turn our attention back now to coronavirus in the new school year and what we're seeing here, an imbalance in the education system disparities. Certainly nothing new, but the pandemic has done a very good job of highlighting these concerns. We have students who don't have access to reliable internet or technology, and so they are certainly going to be falling behind as those classes move online. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner explains. This will have long term impacts on students, and there are concerns that remote learning will hurt low income families the most. Those students are already vulnerable. It's the reality of our education system, a map that plainly shows the different experiences of students. The red areas show the low performing schools with the highest concentrations of poverty. Those children who are most in need and hardest to serve. Data shows online learning did not work for those students. Former state senator and CMS parent Joel Ford thinks the way CMS is moving forward is setting some students up for failure. And if businesses have been able to safely operate, schools should too for those who need it. That safety is a priority, but learning has to be alongside of that. And for those families where virtual learning does not work, my opinion is, is that we have to provide those families with an option. He fears the gap will only get wider, but there is an effort to try and close it. E2D Eliminate the Digital Divide works with CMS to give students in Title I schools who qualify for free and reduced lunch the technology they need to succeed. There are ways that we can help rebalance society to make things more equitable. There's no downside for us to help folks get online and become prosperous in 2020 Charlotte. E2D has already helped more than 12,000 families in the Charlotte area, but they say there's still a long way to go. The demand is in the thousands, but at this point, their supply is only in the hundreds. In Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.